Right. Nine years since we delivered the first Model S, the first car produced uh, here in Fremont. So almost a decade. And uh, I think we've, we've really taken it to a whole new level with the, the with Plaid. Uh, you know, what we really wanted to achieve here is like, well, why, you know, why make this really fast car that's crazy fast and everything? And uh, I think there there is something it, it, that's quite important um, to the future of sustainable energy, which is that uh, we we got to show that an electric car is the best car, hands down. You know, so. It's got to be clear. It's like, man, this is uh, sus sustainable energy cars. It can be the fastest cars, can be the safest cars, uh, can be the most kick-ass cars in every way. So that's why we did the Plaid. It's yeah, just to show hands down, this is the way to go. With Plaid, we, we've managed to break the, uh, the, the two-second barrier, if you will. The, no, no production car has ever uh, done zero to 60 in under two seconds. And, and this is this is a, a four-door car, seats five adults. I mean, this is like what I, what I call like uh, limit of physics engineering. It's not relative. It's like, uh, what does physics say we could do? Because physics is the law, and everything else is a recommendation. <laughs> so, uh, in addition to uh, a crazy performance, uh, it's also got a long range. Uh, even with the uh, tri-motor uh, high performance, it's got almost a 400-mile range. And in the dual motor configuration, it's got a 412 mile range. <laughs> 420, give or take. <laughs> that joke will never end. <laughs> so, and, and we've also improved the super, supercharging speed. So you can uh, get 187 miles of range in 15 minutes. This is really something you have to feel to believe. Because it hits you, hits you light in the, right in the limbic system. It's like, damn, like, whoa. And then in terms of additional stats, uh, it's also the, the fastest production car to complete a quarter mile, so 9.23 seconds. Uh, it's got a 200 mile an hour top speed, uh, a thousand, over 1,000 horsepower, almost 400 mile range. Like I said, uh, charges uh, so fast, uh, you, you know, it'll be probably done by the time you have a coffee, basically. Uh, we have an, an all new battery pack. Um, and then something we're really proud of is the new carbon sleeved rotors for the motor. In order to do a carbon overwrapped rotor, you've got to wind it at extremely high tension. It's a very hard thing to, to do. We actually had to design the machine that makes the, motor, the rotor. So it, no such machine ex existed before. It also means we can make, have the electromagnetic field uh, be super efficient uh, and have a tight gap even at super high RPM. The, the RPM is so crazy that just the centrifugal force wants to expand the rotor. So the carbon overwrap actually holds the, the rotor, to, basically holds the rotor together. <laughs> it's, like, it's like madness. I mean, this is really a, an amazing work of engineering. There's just never been a, an, an electric motor like this. I mean, you could pick this motor up with your hands, and, and it can accelerate a two-ton car to 60 miles an hour in two seconds. I mean, that kind of power to weight is insane. It goes up to 20,000 RPM and maybe a little more. We also were able to achieve the uh, lowest drag coefficient of any car ever made. Really, I think t Tesla engineering has outdone itself here. Uh, this is a car that looks good, but also gets an, uh, an incredible drag coefficient. And this is, uh, take, this is the, the true drag coefficient of the car, including um, w with wheels in motion. Sometimes you'll hear drag coefficients quoted, but that'll be without the wheels moving. And the wheels cause sort of air churn and incremental drag. And uh, this is the actual drag coefficient of the car. We also have the latest uh, and greatest uh, in heat pump, which is the, basically the HVAC system for the car. Uh, it's 30% better cold weather range and requires 50% less energy for cabin heating and freezing conditions. You'll see very little degradation in cold weather. You'll be able to actually do back-to-back -back zero to 60s, um, go on the track, just haul ass, and uh, as you'll see tonight, this car is just gonna be over and over again, and it doesn't get winded. We gotta take this uh, back to maybe the Nürburgring to uh, see what happens. We're, we're just going to keep going so that you can basically travel anywhere you want uh, with peace of mind, super easy, keep increasing the, the power of the superchargers. Uh, you know, we're 250 kilowatts, so obviously that will we'll start going to you know, 280, 300, 350. Yeah. It's also engineered for uh, maximum safety as well. So 
Uh, in fact, this is designed to be the, uh, our aspiration for this car. Um, it still has to be tested by the U.S. government, but uh, we think we can uh, get the, the lowest probability of injury of any car ever tested. These are the actual NHTSA probability of injuries numbers. All top five cars the, with the lowest probability of injuries ever tested, all five are Teslas. As you can see, we changed the orientation of the main screen, so it's easier to watch movies and that kind of thing. Um, in landscape. You drive around and it really feels like, okay, we're in 2021, great. We, we have the, this yoke steering wheel, which is a little different, but I think once you try it, you'll think this is, it's, it's great. Um, the, you, your, the visibility uh, of the, the, the main screen is, is super clear, especially for uh, autopilot, so you can see the entire panoramic view of, you can basically see the mind's eye of the car. We've gotten rid of the stalks. So, like, you know, I think generally, um, all input is error. So we, we want, if, if you have to do something that the car could have done already, the, that should be taken care of. The software should just do it. So you can actually just literally walk up to the car, it senses that you're approaching, unlocks the car based on your phone, it just basically pairs with your phone, knows that you're coming to the car, opens the door, it op op extends the handle, you sit down, and you just drive. You don't, you don't have to uh, press the drive or anything like that. The car knows you want to drive. It figures like, yeah, good guess, you know? <laughs> so, and, and, then, and then it's using the autopilot system to know where the obstacles are. So obviously if there's something in front of you, you want to go backwards. And if there's something in, uh, you know, in back of you, you want to go front, most likely um, <laughs> it will adapt to your, uh, to, to your needs. So if it sees that you're always doing this, you know, you're, changing to reverse or forward in particular situations. It'll try to remember that um, and ge geocode it to that location so then you, it, it'll, you won't have to do it in the future. It'll, it will just keep uh, minimizing the amount of input that you need to do until the car just reads your mind. And it's, it's a 36 watt power supply, so you can actually charge like your you know, laptop or anything, basically it's got it's a 36 watt uh, USB-C. The 17 inch touchscreen is it feels like a, a movie theater. The, the sound is incredible. Um, <laughs> it's, it's like a home theater experience. So if you're, if you're sitting somewhere waiting or for whatever reason or at a supercharger, uh, you can just catch up on what are your, your favorite Netflix show or iTunes or whatever the case may be, YouTube. And of course, uh, you can also play video games. We have an all new uh, sound system designed by Tesla Audio. This is a Tesla designed uh, codec, so uh, it will keep uploading improved versions uh, of the sound system. It's, it's, it's completely software defined, so we'll, we'll keep tweaking it and dynamically adjusting to whether uh, you're using uh, so streaming or whether it's coming via Bluetooth from your phone or uh, different streaming services. Uh, so basically, it always sounds good, and that's just going to get better. There's never been a car that has state of the art. Uh, computing technology, state-of-the-art infotainment, where uh, this is literally uh, at the level of a, of a PlayStation 5. If you think about the future where the car is often uh, in autopilot or full self-driving mode, um, then entertainment is going to become increasingly important. Um, so you're going to want to watch movies, play games, use, use the internet, just all the thing, you know, things you want to do if you're not driving. This is uh, actual PlayStation 5 level performance. So it can play cyberpunk. <laughs> this is somebody playing the car right now, play, playing live. High frame rate will do 60 frames a second um, with state-of-the-art games. So uh, we've got uh, uh, incredible performance, interior of the future. I think uh, engineering, that's practically alien. Um, so uh, like I said, the, you know, simultaneously the safest car in the world and the fastest. It's, this is insane. So we also got like, look at some things like the, uh, the power curve. So the, I think this really illustrates the difference. It maintains uh, 1,000 horsepower all the way up to uh, uh, 200 miles an hour. This car crushes. All right, and deliveries begin now. Uh, we're in production. Uh, we're going to deliver the first uh, 25 cars now. And, uh, uh, and then basically we should be at uh, you know, several hundred cars per week soon and 1,000 cars a week probably next quarter. So. Uh, please enjoy. Uh, we put a lot of work into this. Uh, I'd like to, to thank the incredible work of the Tesla engineering and production teams. Uh, a, you know, it's like 
my hat is off to Tesla Engineering Production Design, the whole, the whole, the whole group. Uh, they really they put their uh, heart and soul into this, so I uh, hope, hope you enjoy.